we are hitting the second part of our five-part episode mm -hmm. of series. Mm -hmm. Series, all mm -hmm. right. Five simple things that you can do right now to make more money with your plumbing business today. Schedule all jobs for today. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not not spreading out through the week. A big problem we get into is we like the comfort. The plumbing business owner. The plumbing business owner of having the call spread out. Right. Feels very secure. Oh, it's so warm and cozy. <laughs> all right. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 359th episode of Potty Talk. I'm your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber, along with my co-host, the lovely Laura, mm -hmm. where we're talking the business of plumbing, how to systemize, stylize, and monetize your plumbing business. And we are hitting the second part of our five-part episode. Mm -hmm. of series. Mm -hmm. Series, mm -hmm. all right. Five simple things that you can do right now to make more money with your plumbing business today. And so we, we introduced the, the first one last, mm -hmm. last, last episode. Podcast. Mm -hmm. Yep, last podcast. Mm -hmm. All right. If you didn't catch it, go back and catch it. I'm not going to say what it is. You have to go back and catch it. Right. All right. We're going to introduce the second thing you can do right now to make more money with your plumbing business today. Even more money because the last episode, they made more money. They made so more now money. it's even more. More money, more money, <laughs> more money. All right. Hey, but before we get to it here, let me recognize our sponsor for this episode. Okay. All right. Hey, you know, every call is an opportunity for your plumbing business, right? Stop missing those opportunities with Plumline. Plumline is a 24-7, 365 days a year answering service exclusively for professional plumbing companies. Founded by plumbing business owners, Plumline understands the importance of booking every job opportunity. Plumline CSRs book jobs directly into your booking software so you don't have to leaving you to do what you do best, taking care of Mrs. Jones. Whether you're just starting out, especially if you're still in the truck or a seasoned residential service plumbing business, Plumline is a no-brainer. Sign up with Plumline today. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash Plumline and mention that you are a Potty Talk listener for priority onboarding. That's themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash Plumline and plumb like a champion. Gotta love right. plumb line. Oh, there. <clears throat> it is a I wish we would have had that solution. I mean oh, back back in our day. I'm gonna have been all over. Right. Absolutely. All right. It, it is a no brainer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whether certainly if you're starting out, mm -hmm. you know, and you're still in the truck. Right. If you're you, the one answering the phones, if you are the plumbing business owner and you're still answering the phones, you need plumb line right now. So <laughs> pause this podcast. <laughs> right. Go out to the <laughs> website and get your uh, onboarding call. Right. Mm -hmm. All the way to <laughs> overflow. You know, yes. just you know, you just, you're missing those calls, right. you know, you can't, can't miss those opportunities. Right. What's nice about Plumline, so say you do have a CSR um, in the office, which hopefully you do, um, and then she's on the phone and another call comes in, which never fails, right? Yeah, never right. fails. Calls always come in twos or they're, threes. They're like poltergeists. They come in twos. <laughs> <you know? laughs> so if you, if you use Plumline, um, Plumline can pick up that overflow call so the customer doesn't have to get put on hold. Right. goes right to Plumline and they can book it for you. Put it on your, your scheduling management software. Bada boom, bada bing. It's a no-brainer. Yep. All right, check them out. Okay. All right, so let's get to it. What's okay. something we can do right now, mm -hmm. right this moment, all right, to make more money with your plumbing business today? Let's hear it. All right, not tomorrow, not the next day, <laughs> but today. And what, what you can do right now, schedule for today. Okay. Schedule, schedule for, your today. for today. Schedule for today. Schedule all jobs for today. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not not spreading out through the week. The, a big problem we get into is we like the comfort. The plumbing business owner. The plumbing business owner of having the call spread out. Right. Feels very secure. Oh, it's so warm and cozy. <laughs> all right. But that that is not, that's not where the value is. That's no. not where the money is. Mm -mm. The money is in taking care of Mrs. Jones today. Right. She's paying for that. Yes. Okay. The right, Mrs. Jones. The, Right. Okay. We'll pay for quality service as well as to get her day back. Exactly. She does not want to wait a couple of weeks. No, she does not. She does not. Okay. She may get on the schedule because she's afraid that she won't be able to get anywhere else. In fact, that's the number one when um, number one. The, the number one concern mm -hmm. of residential service plumbing customers mm -hmm. is not how much things cost and that kind of a thing. The number one concern when polled. Okay, is uh, whether I can get someone today, yeah. whether the plumber will take care of me today. Yeah, well, they show up. Right. Okay, and that's what that's what they're willing to pay for. So okay. we're going to schedule. All right, schedule for today. So how can we do that? Okay, let's hear it. First of all, hire a CSR. Mm -hmm. 
customer service rep. A customer service rep. It's a fancy way of saying somebody to answer the phone other than you. Other than you. (laughs) You're the plumbing, the plumbing, the plumber business owner, and you're answering the phones. It's not a good thing. You're the worst person on the planet to be answering answering your own (laughs) plumbing phone calls. First of all, you're not there. I mean, you're, you know, you've been been there. You're underneath the sink. You're in a crawl space. You're doing (laughs) the work. So you don't answer the call. Or if you do, it sounds like you're doing something else. The tension isn't with the customer. All right. It's not making the customer feel comfortable. They can tell that that you're doing you're doing something else right not, not to mention priority. the customer that you're on right now is thinking what are you doing i'm spending time on the phone you're right. supposed to be taking care of me and I'm, there, he's going to be charging me more and he's right. on the phone with somebody else so if you want to make more money with your plumbing business today you stop answering the phone have someone else answer the phone right also because what happens is is we turn down work oh. <laughs> okay and you're speaking from experience speaking from i don't care <laughs> i know you say well no i do i do no no you don't you prejudge you pre- you prejudge pre- the call right a sewage right. ejector oh nope. man I, I can't look at more <laughs> crap today or it's just uh, it's okay i've already i've already made enough right or i'm tired or, or it's cold out right, right? it's Whatever. freezing cold and it's going to be some sort yeah. of outside job oh i don't want that call right we we are literally turning down money if you're not making enough money in your plumbing business it's probably because you're on the phone you're also turning you're turning money away Mm -hmm. you're literally pushing money away Mm -hmm. and the problem too is typically you try to solve the problem over the phone right so the customer's like calls in and says my you know whatever is leaking or whatever and you start asking all these questions well is it upstairs is it downstairs is it this is a half inch is it a quarter inch is it blah blah, blah." and mrs jones doesn't know she doesn't care right uh, she just wants you out there to take care of the problem so she can get her day back that's all that matters but plumbing business owners that's what or any plumber on the phone that's what they're going to do is try to um pre-judge and then also pre-solve right. the problem before they even get out there and then they'd shoot a price well i'm thinking it'll probably be somewhere between <laughs> two and four hundred dollars well all they heard it was two yeah because mrs jones only heard 200 she right. didn't hear the 400 at right. all and, and then that's you, already high <laughs> yeah right. and then you get out there and it's not a simple whatever it's right. a huge thing and she said, well, you said you were only going to charge me $200. Right. So and that's all because we're on the phone, guys. Get off the phone. Get off the phone. Okay, get off the phone. Get a right. CSR. Hire a CSR. Or a plumb line, either one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, definitely, yeah, we just had the, the, the plumb line. Mm-hmm. Plumb line definitely would be something you would want to have in there. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's a, it's a no-brainer. It's an easy solution. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, a lot better than you answering the phones. Okay. <laughs> Anybody, your okay. dog is better than you answering <laughs> right. the phones. It okay. just is true. All right. <laughs> hey, next. All right. With, with scheduling for today, you're going to book all calls mm-hmm. for today. Okay. You're going to book all calls for today. But I'm full. My okay. schedule's full. You're going to book it for today. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, well, they already have 20. There's just me, and I already have 25 calls on the schedule. <laughs> you're going to book all calls for today. Well, that's, that's going to be 100 calls. You're going to book <laughs> all calls Wouldn't for today. Wouldn't that be a great problem to have? Okay. If you've got 100, 100 calls on the book. Uh, right. Yeah, that's a good problem to have. All right. <laughs> the money is in the call being booked today. There's no money in the calls being booked, you know, down the line. Mm. Okay. Now, yeah, the customer may ask. We might ex- they, be a little bit extreme on this, but you're trying to drive home a point. I want to get right because the, the mistake is way on the other end. Of course. Okay. I got enough calls. It's I've got three calls today. Right. So I'm booked. Right. No, you're not. No. Because what's going to happen is whoever you had to put on in the afternoon, they're still calling around looking for somebody else. Right, that can maybe get out earlier, and then they just happen to forget to call you back to let you know I found somebody else, so cancel. Right. You don't know that until you knock on their door, and they're like, "Well, I already got that taken care of this morning." Right. That that happens day in and day yeah. out. Mm-hmm. Book every call for today, mm-hmm. but I already have it. Book every <laughs> call for today. Right. If you and obviously, then you're going to have to hopefully um, start moving calls towards the end of the day to the next day. If you have that problem, well, that ruins my schedule. I had my schedule all laid out. <laughs> I had it perfect. Cause I was going to drive here mm-hmm. and it was for this call. And, and I had these I parts go on here, the truck, go here to for this job, mm-hmm. book every call <laughs> for today. And if you are doing that, if you are having to move calls to the next day, then that, again, that's a great problem to have. That means you need plumbers. You need plumbers. If you're consistently right. having to move people to the next day, you need more plumbers. Book every call for the day. <laughs> I go, <laughs> that, that's the thing I would drive home, drive home, drive Our home. Our most successful clients um, finally get that. Most don't when, when they start right. either in the Success Academy or with, with private coaching with some of our coaches. Most are like, well, I don't know about that until right. they get burned 
multiple times. But once they do, the, that's when they become successful. And I'll get to the point of why we book every calls here today in a moment here. But it, that that is the, the thing. We are literally pushing off, pushing off money, mm. all right, for our own comfort. And all it does come down to... Oh, I got the schedule all laid out perfectly, and I know I'm going yeah. here, and I got these parts. Like just say, I got these or parts. Or if you're using uh, Service Titan or House Call Pro or somebody, right. right? You've got every everything lined up on the grid or on the dashboard right. or what do they call it? Dispatch board, um, just perfectly. It's all lined up and it's perfect and nice and even lines. And, and if you're the plumber, <laughs> the, you know the plumber owner or whatever. That's a, now you're comfortable. I know what my day is. I know I'm going right. here and I'm going there. Okay, you get you get it laid out. Right. Book every call. For today. And also what that does, once you, you know, if you're looking at the schedule and you've got, okay, I've got my three perfect jobs and I'm going here to here to here, I've got everything on the truck. It doesn't leave your mind open to um, possible um, differences in the jobs or to present um, further options to Mrs. Jones. So maybe you get out there and, um, you know, she's gone out for a toilet leak, but there's some, her, you notice her water heater's leaking or whatever it might be. Your mindset is, no, I've, I've got this amount of calls and I've got this on my truck. So it doesn't leave you open to other possibilities of, of serving Mrs. Jones. Yep. Mindset determines the amount of money we make or don't make. Mm -hmm. And the, the sad thing is most of the time our mindset is making it easy and comfortable on ourselves <laughs> For us. In, in these, in these, um, these ignorant lies that we've kind of bought, you know, bought into that this is how it's done and we got to do it. No. Okay. Nope. Book every call for today. For today. Book Correct. every call for today. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, something mm -hmm. else you want to do for today what? is you want to grab my million dollar plumber blueprint mm -hmm. in it. I lay out the exact specs you need to build a successful self-sustaining and very profitable plumbing business. Mm -hmm. All right. It's all laid out there for you. Hey, you wouldn't, you wouldn't plumb a house without knowing what the specs were. So why are you trying to plumb your business without knowing what the, the correct specs are? Okay. So grab your blueprint today and mm -hmm. it's free. Did I say it's free? I always, I always uh, forget that part. So. All right. It's free. It's free. All right. <laughs> All the years I pay for it. Okay. 30 plus years in the industry. That's right. right? We're a master plumber. Giving away oh, for free. giving away. Okay. It's <laughs> all there. And, it, and it's, you know, it's really pretty simple. Okay. But you got to know these things. Mm -hmm. You know, you know like how easy it really is to, to plumb a house once you know where you're headed and what, what to do. Right. All right. Just doing it. Okay. This is the same thing. Okay. All right. It's all laid out there for you. So grab it. All right. You can go to the million dollar plumber dot com forward slash free, free and grab your free copy of the blueprint today. Yes. So, so, okay. Before we head back in, before we dive back into the show, just want to remind everybody we are out on all the social media channels. Mm hmm. Um, everywhere. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. They're everywhere. TikTok. These guys are TikTok? everywhere. TikTok, 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 right. TikTok. Um, YouTube. Dancing on TikTok. No, we said that last episode. We are <laughs> not dancing on t TikTok. Anyway, we're out there on all the social media channels. So be sure to go out and like, follow, because we have other conversations. There's other people that join in. Yeah, come and come and play out on social media. There we go. Come be social. All right, be social. <laughs> Don't be so. Antisocial. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hey, you looking to make more money with your plumbing business today? Mm -hmm. All right. Schedule for today. Schedule for today. All right. Get yourself a CSR. Someone other than you answering the phones. Mm -hmm. All right. Next, book every call. For today. For today. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And finally, as we've booked every call for today, all right, we're going to triage for dollars. All right. Triage. So like bowling for do dollars. Right. But we're going to triage for uh -huh. dollars. Okay, we're going to take those calls, all right? And, yes, we're going to pick and choose the calls we're going to do. Yep. All right? This is professional plumbing, all right? This is not, uh, you know, hobby plumbing. This is not a community or, service. Right. Okay. It is not. Yes, you do serve your community, but this is not community service. Right. Just, difference. Just because Mrs. Jones called in first with, uh, I, you know, I got some kind of weird smell coming out. Sewer, somewhere sewer and I don't smell. know where and whatever. Rotten egg smell. There's okay. a rotten egg right. smell somewhere. And and she's on the schedule first, mm -hmm. all right. And then a leaky water heater comes in, and you say, "No, oh, well, we can't get you to today because yeah, the schedule's full." All right, uh, that is killing. <laughs> and I go back and look. A lot of times I go back and look at our clients and look at their schedule and what they're doing. That's exactly why they're losing money. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's this thing of just well, I'm just taking the calls as they come in. Right. And that's the call. And once that every I, technician gets right, three calls. Right. That's not right. Then we're done. Yeah. Okay. We're scheduling for the next day or whatever. Right. Okay. All right. That's not professional plumbing. I mean, other professional organizations does this do the same thing. Hospitals. I mean, hospitals. That's a good one. Look at the emergency room. Mm -hmm. All right. You walk in there with a cold and even though, you know, no one's there and you, you know, and you walk in with a cold 
and they're, they're you know they tell you to be with you here in a moment, and someone walks in with a gunshot wound. All right, gunshot you know. wounds going in first. Right, and would you really say, "Well, that's not fair." Right, I was here first. Okay, of course not. You get. It. I mean, we all we li- we do live in that world. Okay, that's ju- that's just how it is. So that's yeah. that's the idea. You know, triage is a, is a medical kind of a thing. Mm. You turn where you're, you're taking the worst patients or right, whatever. Right, and move them to the front of the right. line. Okay. Mm-hmm. You need to do the same thing with, with your plumbing customers. Right. And what happens, too, um, if you do have to move a customer to the next day, you want to make sure you let your customer know well in advance. Don't say that you told them you're going to be there sometime between, I don't know, 2 and 4, and it's 3.55, and you, you know that you're going you're gonna to have to move them to the next day. You should have let them know well before right, that, well right. before that, because then you are going to have a ticked off customer. But if you keep them informed or let them know, hey, we've got a customer um, that we need to get out to because they're, they've got an emergency, the water's off or whatever it might be, they have no hot water. Most people are going to be understanding if you let them know and give them plenty of time, right? Right. So Cun- Communication is key. Yeah, we're not yeah. just saying, I'm not just saying you know, drop these guys, <laughs> drop these guys, and, you know, <laughs> drop them like a whatever, you know, <laughs> right. Okay. Communication. You do need to, you know, be, again, this is professional plumbing. So we do need to communicate. Another reason why we need some other, someone other Which than you, you on the CSR. phone, because yes. if you're, especially if you're still in the truck. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. So you, you, know. you let your CSR know, Hey, Mrs. Jones, we've got scheduled between two and four. Um, we want to keep her informed because it looks like, you know, I'm going to be longer at this job or this other call came in and we need to get to them first. Right. Give her a call and just give her an update. So have the CSR call. Be friendly. Obviously, she needs to be nice and friendly. Um, but just keeping them informed is going to um, solve a lot of um, any issues that you may have with an, an upset customer. Right. In, in all the years, I can't, I can't recall on one hand, I, mean, I, can't, I can't think of anyone that, that just I had to take their call because they were totally ticked off because we've, we changed we the schedule. Move. We had to move the schedule. I'm sure we may have had a few, but I'm not sure. enough to where it was, um, where you even remember. Right. So. But long as long as you're communicating, <laughs> and they're not going to be, be thrilled. happy, thrilled because they're not thrilled having you out anyways. Right. I mean, this isn't you know they're not we're not delivering flowers or pizzas or whatever. <laughs> okay, it's plumbing. So we, we've disrupted their day, Oops, even sorry. though we didn't disrupt their day. Mm-hmm. Their day's disrupted, and right. so and you're just a part of it, <laughs> right? And so the important thing is, well, as long as you're keeping them informed of, you know, hey, we're running behind, or you know, um, you know we're stuck on this other job, or we had this emergency come in, it looks like it's going to be more like this, or even if you got to push them off. I always pray you got you want to get to a point to where your schedule is loaded up, and you are praying that every day. You know, we're having to offload three or five customers to the next day. Oh, that's a good That is a beautiful be thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. You want to be in that position. Now you've got, you know, as far as talking with a customer, it can be uncomfortable because, you know, you, you would offer them up. You know, we're sorry. We just, it's just one of those days. We just, you know, sorry, Mrs. Jones. I can schedule you, make you priority first thing tomorrow morning, and we'll give you a 10% discount for yes. the convenience. Absolutely. Do that. You know, mm-hmm. that, that kind of a thing. Be sure that you, when you do that, be sure you show that on your invoice. Start with the original price, price, whatever the price is for whatever job it is, right? The original price and then show um, 10% discount for rescheduling. Right. So they see the discount. So they see the discount. Don't so just it's not include lost. it. Right. Yeah, don't. Because what will happen if, if you give the price with the discount in it, she's going to say at the end, oh, wait, weren't you going to give me 10% off? And then if you say, well, I did. I already included it. You know, she goes along with it. It just feels like, oh, she's not sure. Right. That, that kind of a thing. Because I didn't see it. I need right. to see it. So you got to give that value. Mm-hmm. But you pray to be in that position because that means you're growing. I mean, that's an easy sign to say, I need to, I need to get, get another truck. And get, you know, get, get a butt in that truck. Mm-hmm. You know, that kind of a thing. It's a beautiful place to be. That's yes. where you want to be. And you have to um, stick. You have to really train your CSR, too, because the CSRs don't want to have to reschedule someone because no. they more than likely – Talk to them originally when the call was booked. Oh, Mrs. Jones, she's such a nice lady, <laughs> and she's, you know, you know, right? Okay. I don't want to call her back. Right. Um, so yeah, that that's an, the other step is training the CSR. Yes, you do need to call her back and and train her how to handle it properly. But right. CSRs don't want to call back. Right. Typically. So. Well, there we go. It is it is that simple to make more money in your plumbing business. So you know, it's, those, that's something you can do right now. Right now. Right now to make more money with your plumbing business today, all right? Mm-hmm. Schedule for today. Okay. All right, get yourself a CSR, all right? Book or all plumb calls. Line. Or plumb line, mm-hmm. right. You know, book all calls for today, all right? And finally, you're going to triage those calls for dollars. Pri- prioritize those calls. Prioritize those calls mm-hmm. by the calls that make you money and get money in the bank today, mm-hmm. okay? Well, let me finish one more thought on that. Okay. Just because it was a big job, I would take a job 
um, consider a job more priority that got me $500 today as opposed to a job that got me $5,000 in a, a month, couple of weeks yeah, or, or whatever. Now. Right. So you're going to have to chase the money. Right. Right. So you're triaging mm-hmm. for dollars today. Mm-hmm. And I even a better way to put that triage for dollars in the bank today. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. getting the money in the bank today. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good. All right. So there we go. And watch and see how you're making more money with your plumbing business. Mm-hmm. It's that simple. Right. Okay. It is that simple. Mm-hmm. All right. Just some guys don't find it that easy because, <laughs> you know, emotionally, what we deal with it, you know, emotionally. Okay. But okay. it's simple. So there we go. Go make more money today. All right. With your plumbing business. Hey, and if you're serious about looking to make more money with your plumbing business, growing your plumbing business, then you need to check out the Million Dollar Plumber Success mm-hmm. Academy. What's happening with my All hair? Right? Look at that. That's Where we teach crazy. the business of plumbing. <laughs> All right. And you have okay. to notice those things. All right. How's your hair? Yeah. Yeah. It was like sticking <laughs> all crazy I'm, I'm in the talking back. Success Academy here. <laughs> I know. Well, I was saying, I look at the monitor. My all hair's right. doing all kinds of weird things. Girl. And, <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Um, guys, and this is a total side note, but this is a bonus. If you're married or you have a girlfriend um, and you ever notice there's a little piece of lettuce or something in her teeth, tell her, let her know. Just a little tip. Is that or a potty her hair's talk bonus? <laughs> That's a potty talk bonus. <laughs> or her hair's kind of out of whack on the whatever. So okay. Okay. anyway. <laughs> so you were saying, go right All ahead. Right. Success Did, Academy. Didn't mean to. We're, we're, we're we teaching the even business give of more plumbing. Tips than, right. than that. <laughs> All right. Hey, and if you are a plumbing power couple in there, there are there are uh, video classes in there for, for PPCs. Mm-hmm. Okay. Plumbing power couples. Plumbing yes. power couples. All Our right. Favorites. And then we teach you everything you need to know. All right. To grow, scale. A profitable plumbing business. Okay, it's all laid out there for you. All the things. Okay. Talking about these very things. Exactly. CSR, we're going to do much more detail um, as right. well. In fact, much there, more training. There's a perfect call script in there. There is the perfect the phone perfect script. The perfect call script. Perfect. Yeah, perfect phone script. Yep, yes. perfect phone script. Mm-hmm. Yep. We do. Give it to you for free. All right. It's all in there for you. All right. Well, you can check it out. The Academy for free. 14-day free trial. All right, so you can get a taste. Simply go to the com forward slash success all right so check it out there we go Great episode all right again there we yep. go make more money today all right schedule for today to make more money today <laughs> all right do it hey and before i let you go as always i want to remind you that you were purposely and wonderfully created and you were created to do great things so plumb like a champion bye everybody